here are the four steps that I take if my Eufy security camera is not working. So the first thing to do is to check the power level. That's relatively easy. You can see on this one, the, the green light is on. Also, if I look in the app, it will show that the battery is charged. If it says that it needs to be charged, then you basically lift up this rubber mat, plug in the USB cable, and usually it's charged in about eight or nine hours. The second thing to check is the Wi-Fi connection. Now you can see that the Wi-Fi router is right there. So there's no problem uh, going from the Wi-Fi router to the base station to this. But if there was a problem, you just have to move the camera closer. And usually what happens is you see that the camera is trying to connect and just the speed of the camera, it just, it, it's very slow. Like it's only transmitting, you know, one or two kilobytes per second, which is just not enough for a high quality camera like this. The third thing that I found with these cameras, if, the, if it's just not working, the power is okay, the Wi-Fi is okay, but it just is not showing up in your app, you're not getting any imagery, is you have to do what's called a manual restart. The base station can be restarted from the app, which is great. This camera, unfortunately, needs to be manually restarted by pressing the sync button at the top. And that's a problem, obviously, if your camera's at a remote location or it's in a hard to read, reach, reach place and you have to go up there and get it or you know maybe you have to wait in order to, to do that. But I found that that really does help. I, it's helped me basically bring two cameras that were not functioning uh, back to life without having to change any other configuration. And then finally, the last step, if all of that fails and you're just pulling out your hair wondering what's going on with this camera, it doesn't seem to be connecting, you can basically disconnect the camera from the app. Basically, you uh, you delete that delete that camera, and then you just add it back in. Basically, as a new camera, you have to go through the setup process again. But those four steps are generally the troubleshooting that I do for these cameras. I have you know a half dozen of these cameras in two locations. I like them a lot, but sometimes you know you need to figure out what's wrong, why they're not working, and that's those are the steps that I take.